Hey everyone, it's Cody Bryant, driver of the 08 late model stock and limited late model. Uh, this video is gonna look a little different. We're not at the track, we're, uh, we're at home at our uh, race shop and uh, we're gonna kind of do a brief 2023 recap and uh, we're gonna go over what's to look for in 2024. So going into 2023, we had already made up our mind to go ahead and you know attempt to run for a track championship because I've never won a track championship and I've always wanted to win one and same with everyone on my team and stuff. So we had made our minds up that's what we wanted to do. And uh, after opening night uh, back in last April, we had a really dominating performance, you know, qualified on the pole and led every lap of the 50 lap feature. So that was really strong and we went home really happy. And then week two, we got lucky enough to win the second one. So that was really where we really 100% knew that a championship was what we wanted to compete for all year long. And then, you know, as you know, the third week approached, we were really confident going in and we realized right then and there that the, the guys that we were racing against the competition had gone up a ton. So, I mean, even though we never finished worse than top five all year, it, it was a, it was with the guys that, you know, continuously got better, you know, every week, it was really hard to, you know, maintain a top five finish every race, but we ended up doing it. Uh, we didn't win another race until, uh, July actually so we went through a pretty long drought of not winning you know for coming out so strong and having you know a kind of a, a tough time when you know winning a race but we and we ended up winning a race in July and that was a huge boost you know for us to you know keep going and keep putting in a lot of effort to our you know our long-term goal which was the championship and that night I think we extended our lead a little bit by like almost like 10 points I think it was but I knew that that lead was going to be tough to maintain with how good Jacob was Jacob could or he did he closed in on that points lead within like three weeks just because we you know we were running you know fourth or fifth at the time and he was winning the races so it was tough it was really tough to race against him and not only that but just everyone in the top five was so good so going into like the last three races jacob had really closed in on that points gap that i had had on him and i knew that he was not going to slow down you know I, he was either going to have a dnf or he was going to pretty much be first or second he was that good he was really tough so uh, they always brought a really good piece to the track. So I knew I had to, we had to bring our A game. And those last three weeks were really stressful on me and my crew chief. We, uh, we knew that we had to capitalize and we had to finish or, you know, finish either one spot behind him or pretty much beat him. So uh, once championship night approached us, the week, you know, just that whole week, like the week before that Saturday night, I was extremely nervous. I almost like didn't want the day to come, but I wanted to go ahead and get it over with and just find out you know, if we're, if we're gonna win it or not. So um, that was definitely a really stressful week and a stressful day. And uh, we actually tested that Friday before and we broke a transmission in practice, like three laps into our first run. So that was not very ideal. So we came back Friday night, the night before championship night and regrouped. And so to add on to our transmission uh, breaking in practice on Friday, my crew chief had a wedding to go to. It was actually my cameraman's wedding. But uh, so he had to go that Friday night to his wedding rehearsal. So he couldn't even come to the shop to help us as bad as he wanted to, but he had other obligations. And luckily my cousin Colby and uh, his uh, wife now, and my dad, it was just us four up here on a Friday night uh, working to get everything right and ready to go. And thankfully we were able to do so. And uh, even Saturday, you know, the wedding was on Saturday. So my crew chief wasn't there for the first part of the day and I know that killed him. I knew it killed Brandon not to be there, but it was a more important day for him and his family. When we got to the track Saturday and once practice started getting going, the nerves kind of went away and we were, I, I knew that we had a good piece. So I knew everything was working and functioning right, you know, the proper way. And uh, we were pretty quick and uh, once qualifying came, um, it was that was definitely the probably the most stressful part of the day because it's just the field so good So if you weren't really in the top five, it was gonna be tough to make it happen And of course Jacob was really uh, really strong and qualifying every week. He was always a contender for the pole We ended up fifth. So I mean it was decent um, I knew going into the race that I had to I couldn't finish I couldn't tie him but I couldn't finish more than two spots behind Jacob so I had to you know be right there with him pretty much uh, ultimately, our goal was just to win the race, and as you know, as the race got going, we had made our way up to fourth, and um, I knew it was a 50-lap race. I knew I had to get to third to get the deal done. So we ended up uh, getting lucky enough to get by third place uh, after 
probably the first 35 laps, so I didn't have too much time left. And once I got to third, I knew I had to maintain that spot, you know, to, to lock it up and win it. And uh, thankfully, we had no cautions from that point on, and, and uh, we ended up finishing third and, and winning the championship. So in 2023, we did run some late mile stock races because we had bought the car behind us and we wanted to race it, but we also wanted to focus on the limited championship. So I believe our first late model start at Langley didn't go the way we wanted to. We had brought both cars. We had a limited race and a late model race, but we did have both cars. So it made it a little easier, but that was probably the worst idea we've ever had. It was so stressful and a lot in one day. And uh, the late model race ended up not going the way we wanted. Ryan, thank you. Our second race in the late model stock, we uh, it was twin 75s. So I was I hadn't had that much experience running, you know, 75 lappers, only like 50s and twin 35s. So I knew I was going to be a little bit tired, but uh, it was fun. I learned a lot. I think we finished top 10 in both those races. So we still struggled a little bit. We we weren't exactly where we wanted to be, but it's all part of learning. I guess skip to like September was when we ran the late model stock again because we were just so focused on the limited and everything we had going on with that. Uh, we ended up finishing top five and that was a really good night for us and we were happy to to finish the year off with the late mile stock with that type of run after that i believe we went to the classic and uh, that was started out to be not a good weekend we struggled all day in practice on friday and along with saturday and qualifying did not go good with just part failures and other stuff we had going on and then sunday we started like 17th and ended up finishing top 10 avoiding some pretty big wrecks and just keeping the nose clean for 250 laps so as of right now our plans for 2024 are to run late mile stocks full time and to run majority at langley we want to start our year out in the in march for the spring stuff and at southern national we want to get a little better there and continue to race there and probably go to you know race in carolina a little bit just kind of get some seat time all over but probably gonna run a lot of Langley still and just have fun there and you know learn and get better all around. Uh, the biggest thing in next year is we just wanna get me as much seat time as we can in, in this car behind me and uh, really focus on that. You can expect us to run probably like five limited races. We're not gonna run too much. We'll probably convert that car over to a late mile stock eventually, but as of right now, it's gonna stay a limited and we'll probably run Langley's open tonight and probably a couple other races. And if they have any big races, we'll definitely be running those. So that's pretty much all we got going on for right now. That was a, a short little recap of our 23 season. Um, we look forward to 2024. If you want to stay updated on what all we've got going on, go check out all my social medias. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at the track.